On the latest when it comes to these two raging wildfires just east of the valley, the Telegraph and Mescal fires. The Telegraph fire, it's now the 10th largest wildfire in our state's history at 76,260 acres. Want to get you out to our Jamie Warren. She's live near Globe and Jamie has just been a couple of days since these fires first started. They have moved fast. Kaylee, we are on the south side of Globe right now. It is very smoky out here this morning, and that's because if you look right over these mountains, even more south, you'll see that gray plume of smoke. We've even been catching a quick glimpse of some of the flames, just a light glow every so often over the mountain tops there. There are roughly 1300 fire personnel working together to fight both the Telegraph and the Mescal fires. They're not only fighting against the flames, but also rugged terrain and weather conditions. And this morning we're getting a look at some of the damage that these fires have caused. Well, there's our little wagon. State House Speaker Rusty Bauer is sharing this devastating video. His family home near Miami completely gutted by the Telegraph fire. Bricks, debris and ash is all that's left behind. Just some of the heartbreaking stories that we've been hearing while out here. Now, more families who've evacuated to shelters are telling us that they're worried about what they'll find when they return home. I won't put this on nobody. <laughs> it's the worst feeling ever. You feel hopeless. We pack through everything in, in uh, uh, kitchen bags or trash bags, <laughs> everything. And uh, whatever we find, pictures, jewelry, uh, this, that, you know, just very scary. So the Telegraph fire is threatening communities like Top of the World, Superior, Miami, and now it is approaching Globe, which is where we are this morning. Officials say the human caused fire is now 18% contained. The Mescal fire is burning just southeast of Globe, destroying 65,825 acres of land. Evacuation orders have been lifted for all communities except East El Capitan. Now fire officials say it is at 23% contained this morning, but homes aren't the only things being threatened by this fire. Uh, one of the Arizona's oldest institutions had a very close call. We will have more on that coming up in our next half hour. For now, reporting live in Globe, Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. And yeah, Jamie, we can see some of that smoke behind you. Thank you for that update.